What makes snow melt? At first, it may sound like a stupid question, but the answer, as scientists are discovering, is not as obvious as one might think. Today I'm really focusing on whether or not I can see any recent dust deposition on the snowpack. Chris Landry is executive director of the Center for Snow and Avalanche Studies, and the San Juan Mountains here in Colorado is their laboratory. At an elevation of over 12,000 feet above sea level, and among some of the most avalanche-prone country in America, Landry and his team search for clues buried in snow. The effect of dust in and on the snowpack, and particularly when it's at the snow surface, is to radically alter the energy balance in the snow surface by directly absorbing solar energy. The center collects millions of measurements a day, from air quality to subsurface temperature and moisture content of the snowpack. But layers of dust in snow carried by windstorms from hundreds of miles away are of particular interest. Clean white snow reflects most of the sunlight back into the atmosphere. But according to Landry's findings, dust-laden snow, tinged brown or red, absorbs up to 40% of sunlight, increasing the rate at which snow melts. It really has challenged the conventional wisdom that mountain snow melt is driven by air temperatures. We're able to show pretty definitively that the absorption of radiation by the snowpack can be the dominant driver of snow melt. The center's findings could have enormous impact upon farmers and water managers in the West who rely on snow melt almost exclusively for water supplies. The water is captured and released by reservoirs according to weather forecast. Incorrect calculations or timing could result in floods or shortages to users downstream. Landry's dust on snow data is altering methods that have been used to manage water in the West for the past 50 years. People are rethinking the entire framework for snowmelt and, and the factors that are important to monitor to understand snowmelt. Because of Landry and the CSAS, water managers in the West have better information to efficiently harness our most precious commodity. For Assignment Earth, I'm Bruce Burkhardt.